means already we know this electrons are revolving around the nucleus in the particular orbits particular orbits electrons revolves around the nucleus in the particular orbit these are called uh, electron orbits in the electron orbits the electrons revolving around the nucleus then between the nucleus and this electrons a force is acting that force is a uh, electrostatic force and uh, that electrostatic force f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into e square by r square here r square means this uh, r is the radius of the uh, that means r is the distance from nucleus to electron and uh, this is the electrostatic force and uh, this electrostatic force is equal to the centripetal force here that means this electrostatic force is balanced by the centripetal force here this is taking equation one and the centripetal force is equal to mv square by r these two forces are balanced each other then only the electrons revolve around the nucleus now here if we equate these two equations then 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into e square by r square is equal to mv square by r now by this one r here r gets cancelled then v square is equal to v square is equal to we can write m by r into e square by 4 pi epsilon naught m e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into r this is the v square value and and uh, if we write if we write the energy that is a kinetic energy of an electron then the kinetic energy k is equal to half m v square that is a half m v square here we can write uh, this uh, v square value then we'll get m by r e square by 4 pi epsilon naught that is m square e square by 8 pi epsilon naught into r this is called a kinetic energy this uh, kinetic energy k is equal to m e square